Hey everybody, this is Eno, and welcome to the Dynamic Prepper. Well, it's time for Monthly Knife Club for January 2018. If you are unfamiliar with them, you can check them out over at monthlyknifeclub.com. I will put a link down in the description. And what they are is a monthly subscription box service that delivers to your door each and every month a knife, usually more than one. And also, along with that, uh, stuff for knife maintenance, EDC, even tactical and survival gear comes in this box each and every month. So give them a check out. You're going to uh, see a couple of different box levels over on their website. This particular one is going to be the ultimate level, uh, which is going to be their premium level. And so we're going to see all the different box levels in here as well as their premium knife. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this box, shall we, for uh, January 2018. All right, let's go. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> well, we can already see the star of the show. Uh, that, my friends, is an expensive knife. <laughs> so I'm, I'm already really excited. I don't even care what else comes in this box. I, th I'm i already excited. Um, yeah, I, I love me some Kaiser knives. Uh, so first off here we have our uh, monthly knife club card. It comes with ev all the different uh, items that come in each box as well as their value and the price and description of each item and the different box level plans that they have available. Of course, we're going to be looking down here at the ultimate plan, uh, which is valued at over $240 for this month. So really good. That's probably what double, double and a half <laughs> the, uh, the cost of the box. So uh, pretty, pretty good, uh, Pretty good return on our investment here. So, first of all, we'll, we'll get to the premium knife uh, actually last. We'll come to that last, and I'm going to be willing to guess that everything else in this box is probably going to be a little underwhelming because this is an expensive knife, and I don't know which one it is yet, but um, I don't have to. So, anyway, <laughs> first up, we have uh, what do we have here? We have from UST some animal tracking cards. There you go. Live and learn animal tracking cards, uh, you know, for different paw prints and things like that. These are great little reference uh, card packs that you can stick in a survival kit. Even a survival tin, they'll fit in there and uh, act as a quick reference guide for you to identify. Oh, they have all different sorts of these uh, for fishing and building shelters and first aid and all sorts of different ones. This particular one is the animal tracking live and learn quick reference guide. Uh, next up, we have... Uh, from Ready Man, we have the Fisherman's Survival Card. And of course, we've seen this on the channel before. Let's see if I can open this up here. There we go. And again, these are great for putting into a survival uh, kit or even just a little survival tin. And the Fisherman one comes with uh, different hooks and spinners, uh, all sorts of different stuff that you can outfit a little emergency uh, sort of bushcraft style uh, fishing kit uh, right there for you. So that's what comes in there. Uh, this is a 20 plus tools in the Fisherman's uh, survival card. There we go. And the uh, price on that is uh, $12.99. Uh, next up we have some playing cards. We have the K-Bar Knife Incorporated Standard Issue Playing Cards. Uh, so we have K-Bar themed playing cards uh, from K-Bar. Uh, reminiscent of decks issued to soldiers during World War II, but features the art made famous during the Afghan conflict. Faces are custom designed and all cards are textured. So there you go, you got yourself uh, from K-Bar, some uh, collector uh, playing card set in a nice military theme. And again, price on that is uh, $9.95. Okay, next up we have from Ninja Knife, we have the Ninja Knife. So this is a uh, foldable credit card sized knife. We've actually seen these before on the channel. I think I don't even recall what box we've gotten this before in, but it was a while ago, probably about a year ago now. Uh, we uh, we had one of these, and basically all you do this is a credit card style uh, knife, so it can fit in a wallet very easily. And all you do is you flip the the blade around, you fold the wings of the uh, credit card little block there in creates a nice little handle and then you have a nice sharp blade there great uh, as an emergency slim and sleek design blade to carry with you uh, also will be great putting in a small um, survival kit or something like that that you're making to be honest with you I find that women love to carry these credit card sized uh, 
survival knives too. They're unobtrusive and they're always there for them. Um, they're not buried in the bottom of a purse. They don't have to carry it in their in their in their pocket or things like that. It's just in their uh, wallet. And if they need an emergency knife, uh, they have something with them. So I, I find that women love credit card knives personally. And I know a lot of people out there like to have sort of an emergency backup knife uh, stashed in a wallet and things like that. So there you go. The Ninja Knife. Uh, price on this guy is nine ninety five for that guy right there. All right, next up, what else do we have? We have some more quick reference cards. This one is the Paracord uh, kit. So again, just like the uh, animal tracking cards, this one is the Paracord, the quick reference kit. So again, a bunch of different cards uh, kind of all uh, pinned together there. And uh, this one uses tips and uses of Paracord. Pocket guide to Paracord usage. Uh, illustrated cards describe how to use paracord in emergency situations in the wilderness during an outdoor excursion. Ten informative cards are attached with a grommet so they all stay together. Uh, water resistant for outdoor use. All right, moving right along, we also have the Stanley Adventure Steel uh, water bottle. So I kind of remember seeing one of these before. I think we may have gotten one of these a number of months ago too. I don't remember what box it came in, but uh, uh, the Stanley Stainless Steel Water Bottle Adventure Steel Bottle 21 ounce keeps hot hot and cold cold. Single wall insulation, uh, two stage lids, fills drinks and cleans easily, ice catch in spout, integrated lanyard, uh, leak proof, Stainless steel and dish, dishwasher safe. Car uh, cup holder compatible also on that. Uh, so there you go. And people say that you can uh, use this as a cup too. I guess if you dainty little cup. <laughs> I guess you could use it as a cup. But there you go. A nice little uh, travel mug there. Uh, the outdoor uh, adventure steel water bottle. So very cool. I like that a lot. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Uh, price on this guy is $13 for that. All right, moving right along to the star of the show, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get this out of here, and uh, we'll move our box out of the way right away. So we can look at this. What is this one? This one is the... Ah, oh, it's the Rattler. It. This is a great knife, guys. I love me the Rattler. All right, let's open this up. All right, there it is. Nice little box these come in. Ooh, comes in a little pouch there too. Got our chamois there, as well as a little uh, info pack there. Let's go ahead and open this up. Nice case this comes in too. There we go. Look at that. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Rattler from Kaiser. What an awesome knife. So this is all titanium construction uh, in the tiles and handle. They call it the Rattler, this nice little design that it has in it. Very awesome blade design on this guy too. Nice recurve, very attractive blade. Almost the perfect EDC size. Love this knife for EDC. Super smooth, excellent lockup. It's a frame lock. Um, titanium handle is nice and lightweight, yet it is substantial as far as its feel, but it is not heavy. It, in other words, it feels quality construction, but it's not super heavy design. Look at that blade. Isn't that a beautiful blade? Um, these guys here, th this is about a 200 and I want to say about a 200 plus 220 dollar knife retail. Now, of course, um, we're not paying retail for it here. What's the price on this guy? Uh, is 185. You know what? That's a great price on this knife. Um, I know for a fact because I've looked at these knives before. That is the price currently right now on Amazon. It's also the price currently right now on Blade HQ. I'm sure if you search around, you might find it for a little bit cheaper than that. You know, there's always some place that's going to sell it for 10 or 15 bucks less. Um, but you know. Whatever, uh, 185 is uh, is a great price on this knife. That's pretty much the going rate on this knife. 
What else can we say about this? Uh, steel, that is S35VN. That's a great steel. Um, what I would consider to be a premium steel. Um, so the only thing above that would be your super steels, but I consider this to be a premium steel. And really premium steel is going to be just about the best kind of steel you're gonna get out of a production knife, which is what this is. Um, if you wanna get into like some of your super steels, like your M390s, uh, your S90V, uh, like the Benchmade has, or uh, the S110V, like the Spyderco Military, you're getting into like your higher end boutique, uh, limited edition knives, special edition knives, uh, boutique knives, custom blade manufacturers, things like that. That's where you're going to really find those super steels. The premium steels, like this guy, um, pretty much the best quality steel you're going to find in production knives. Um, absolutely. So uh, S35 uh, VN, excellent, excellent steel uh, for this price point and uh, also just in, in a production blade in general. Typically you don't find this nice of a steel and you can tell just how nice it is. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up because uh, typically these things just pick up reflections of light, but uh, it is a super, super good looking blade. Um, the grind on it, very, very good, super shiny. Um, this thing is going to be absolutely razor sharp, I'll guarantee you that, oh yeah, nice and sharp. And with that uh, S35 VN steel, that's gonna hold a, hold an edge all day long. I mean, that's a really, really good quality steel. Uh, very hard, very corrosion resistant, gonna hold an edge extremely well, yet it's not, a complete pain in the butt to sharpen either. They're they're uh, they're they're reasonable blades to sharpen. Um, so I actually really like this. Uh, and it's sort of sister steel, the S30 V, also um, a really nice steel too. Um, so there you go, the Rattler from Kaiser. What a great knife! I am really excited about this. So that is uh, that's awesome. I love that. And like I said, that is a great uh, feeling knife. Awesome size for an EDC blade. Um, really nice weight too, because that's something you can put in your pocket and it's not going to be, you know, really weighing down your pocket too much. Um, very nice, very nice, uh, uh, blade there. Really excited to have this in the kit. A absolutely. This is great. Um, so let's go ahead and really quickly kind of go back through everything that came in this box here this month uh, for January monthly knife club let's kind of review this this is all just fluff in my opinion but because um, we got an awesome knife this month and that's really all I care about in monthly knife club so uh, first off we had uh, an animal tracking cards from UST we also had the paracord uh, uh, tying guide paracord guide from UST um, we had the K bar uh, military standard issue playing cards Right there, we had the uh, Readyman Fisherman Survival card also there. We had for the lower box levels, the knife that you got was the Ninja Knife, so credit card style knife. We also got the Stanley Steel Water Bottle, and of course, the star of the show was a $185 knife, the Kaiser uh, Rattler. A uh, very nice knife, nice premium blade on that. Uh, this is one of the things that uh, uh, Monthly Knife Club has been doing over the last few months. You know, we used to review them on the channel quite regularly, and um, they definitely were doing sort of more quantity of knives over quality of knives uh, back a while ago. So they were kind of giving us um, a lot of like 20 and $25 knives, trying to give us like four or five knives in every box, which I get it. People look at Monthly Knife Club and they think, oh, I'm going to get like, you know, 30 knives in this box. Well, that's not true. I mean, to be honest with you, uh, if you put a lot of knives in it, the more knives you put in a box, the lower quality each knife is going to be. And to be honest with you, once you've had that subscription for a few months, months, you know, you kind of got your fill of like $20 knives, you know, you can have quite a few of them laying around. And so uh, what happened was they sort of revamped the box a few months ago, and they've really been concentrating on not doing as many knives in the box, but really starting to invest in higher quality knives. So they're doing quality 
over quantity. So now we might only be getting one or two knives in a box, but we're getting knives of much higher quality, $185 knife, much higher price point, much higher quality, um, working with different brands and bringing new uh, things into the box. So we're not really uh, concentrating so much on quantity of knives coming in these boxes. Uh, Monthly Knife Club is concentrating a little bit more on getting us really nice knives. Knowing that we as knife connoisseurs and people that appreciate knives are much rather gonna have one really nice knife come in a box than you know five or six crappy knives coming in a box, which is what happens when you try to fill it full of knives. So some inexpensive uh, gear that comes along with it because we've really, uh, really kind of spent it all on one really high quality premium knife and I'm fine with that. I've always said that about boxes. I would rather get one really nice item than a bunch of crappy items. So we got some, you know, some some nice stuff that comes in the box too, some nice things that you can throw in survival kits and stuff like that, but really the star of the show here is just a really nice premium knife. So, and that's what I like to see out of Monthly Knife Club. So I am excited, great knife, I'm happy. Hope you enjoyed, take it easy everybody.